Hey everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to do a wig review of a Wig Pro wig in partnership with Wig Pro. They sent me this wig so that I could show everybody and talk all about it. This is Miley by Wig Pro in the color Ginger Brown. It's a very beautiful, dark, rich, chocolatey brown with a little bit of auburn tones in it. Miley has a lace front, a full mono top, lots of curl, and I'm going to tell you everything I know about her, show you this color inside and outside. If you'd like to see that, then stick around. to thank Wig Pro for sending me Miley so I could show everybody. I've done a number of Wig Pro reviews in the past. It's always fun to show a lesser known brand that people may or may not be aware of. So if you'd like to check Miley out, uh, these styles are carried by a number of online wig retailers, but not all of them. I'll do a quick search online. I'll find a retailer that carries Miley and I'll link it in the description below. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments. All right, everybody, let's take a look at Miley from all sides. If you're here to just see color, I cover color toward the end, but I do timestamp everything. So you can check out the timestamps in the description to, to uh, head to the color section and skip everything else. Now, one thing I did notice, this Miley looks, to me, it looks quite a bit different from the other Miley's I've seen in other reviews. If you'd like to see other reviews, I would just do a search on YouTube for Wig Pro Miley and you'll be able to find some of the other reviews that are out there. I will be honest with you guys, I've struggled with this one a lot. These, the way that the fibers and the hair lays really heavy in the face, these curls don't really wanna cooperate with me. Uh, they're beautiful big barrel curls, but they're really, really irregular. But I think that's a good thing because I think it's really important that you as a wig wearer or maybe a new wig wearer who hasn't even worn a wig yet is aware of the variation that can happen with wigs. It can be a shock when you get, get a wig and it looks nothing like the wigs you've seen in reviews and that can happen. So I personally have seen people and I've heard from people who purchase the wig, especially curly wigs. This can be really pronounced in curly wigs. And the curls just look nothing like all the pictures and all the reviews that they've seen. So they sent it back, basically exchanged it for another one. And the other one they got was the curl pattern that they were hoping for. I don't know why this type of variation occurs. I think I have some ideas. You know, it's not a perfect manufacturing process, but if that ever happens to you, it might be worth it to return it and purchase a new one just to see if maybe you got an anomaly on the curl pattern. I think this one's a bit of an anomaly. It just needs a lot of TLC in the front here with these curls. There's some pieces that are like really long compared to the others that maybe didn't take as much curl. I I just wanted to say that in the beginning because those were the thoughts I had and I'm always going to try to be as honest with you as I can in all of these reviews. Now like I said, Miley has a lace front and a full mono top which means there's a lot of flexibility with this piece and you can part it anywhere on the top. Let's take a look at that lace front. There's your lace. Now this lace is pretty light. It actually shows up on my skin. I have quite a tan right now because it's summer and I do find that on occasion with some lace fronts. If you have some face powder or some makeup that matches your skin tone, just dabbing that on the lace in the front will really help to blend it into your skin. In addition, dark, dark browns like this do tend to look a little bit naughty on the parting space and on the lace front. That same makeup or actually when you're trying to hide knots, if you're trying to blend the lace, it's best to use a, a makeup or powder that blends well with your skin. But when you're trying to hide knots, it's best to use something just a little bit lighter because your scalp is lighter than your skin typically, and so you don't want to draw attention to a part line that doesn't look like it normally would, which is just lighter, a little bit lighter than your skin Let's tone. Let's take a look at this cap, and I'll tell you all the details about it. Let me find it here. Okay, so we have got 
like I said, full monofilament. That whole spot right here is called monofilament and it can be, that means you can part the hair anywhere you want within that. That's all parting space. Gives you a lot of parting flexibility. There's that lace front. That's a little seam between the material of the lace front. Let me get away from here so it'll focus. The material of the lace front and the material of the monofilament. We've got soft ear tabs with bendable stays, an extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. The rest of the cap is open, wefted, and nice and stretchy. This is a really, really nice cap construction that gives a lot of flexibility with how you can style it. Now this wig is, I would consider, a moderate density. It's a good amount of hair. It definitely feels full. Let me just... It feels really full when you put it on with this big barrel curl pattern. So if you get overwhelmed by wigs, if you're brand new to wigs, if you've been losing your hair for a long time, this is going to be overwhelming, I have a feeling. It's really full, really voluminous. There is permatease all throughout this cap, not heavy permatease, not super pillowy, but there is definitely some permatease throughout this cap. Uh, which is pretty typical for a curly piece and it's something I've always said I think curly wigs need a little bit of permatease so that those curls can stay lifted and, and a little bit perky. <laughs> um, without that permatease they can really sag with the heat of your head and gravity throughout the day. Another thing with these they do tend to want to get a little bit frizzy. One way to combat that with synthetic wigs is just with water. Uh, get yourself a nice mister spray bottle and you can just mist it put your hands on it and scrunch it up just a little bit, smooth out those curls. You notice when I put it on, some of this wanted to stick up. That's just, you know, these, this is a, a regular synthetic wig and these are some drier fibers. They do feel a little bit dry to the touch, which is why it's doing that. And I think some of the things you can do, use water. There's a product on the market called Simply Stylin Light Silk Silicone Spray. That's a great, great product for a synthetic curly wig. Now let's talk about fit. I find Wig Pro wigs to fit very true to average, slightly larger than average. There's some good stretch on here, and this is running big on me. I do have to cinch it in for, for to get a really good secure fit, and I have a 22 inch circumference. All of my measurements are in the description box below this video, so you can go compare them to yours. I do get a lot of extra cap up here. And I'm pretty petite over the top of my head, but I would say this is running real similar to um, Aesthetica, Beltress. I just think other brands that run a little big, this wig is fitting me real, real similar. These ear tabs give me great coverage on the sides. I just think if you are more average petite, you're probably, this. you're gonna swim in this one. If you know how to take in wig caps to make them fit your head, then you'll be fine. If you don't, there are a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to do that. So if you find a Wig Pro wig that you think you want to try, it might be worth checking out some of those videos so that you can uh, enjoy this brand without worrying about it being way too big for All you. All right, let's talk about color. Ginger brown. This is a dark, dark, dark brown. And you can see some of these ginger highlights. Let me get out of the frame. Do you see those right there? It's a, so we've got auburn highlighting throughout. Little pops of auburn here and there. Blended in with this super rich, dark chocolate. You know, the, 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 it doesn't give off super red vibes, but it definitely has those auburn tones. So often when I review a dark brown wig, I get the question, does it pull red? This doesn't pull heavy red, but I definitely think it pulls some red. Beautiful. If you love dark browns, and you can do a little auburn, you like some a little interest to your dark brown, maybe a little bit of a visible not technically highlighting, but you know, highlighting with that auburn, that's what you get in this. Kind of final summary thoughts on this one. I, I think this can be a really cute style. I've seen reviews where this style is so darling. This particular piece is a bit of a challenge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't discourage you from trying it. 
but just be prepared. You might have to give it some TLC to get it looking great. If it's really front heavy like this one, you might need to do a little thinning in the front. There are a lot of videos showing you how to do that. You know, not all synthetic wigs are 100% perfect out of the box. I think we have to be realistic and be prepared. If we see a style that we really like, but there are a few little things about it that we wish were different, Many of those things you can do yourself, and I want to encourage you and empower you to play with your wigs. I have videos showing you how to pluck part lines to make them look more realistic, how to put makeup on them, how to pluck the hairline, how to trim the lace, all kinds of things that can help you really have joy in the journey. So don't ever be afraid to try something just because it might not be 100% perfect for you. There's lots you can do. All right, everybody, let's get outside so you can see this one outside. And thanks once again, Wig Pro, for sending me Miley so I could talk about her. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. All right, friends, let's look at this color outside. A rich, dark brown. It does need a little work, but with some TLC, could be really cute. Hope you have a great day.